Hey there. So I don't post very often because I typically don't have a lot of reasons to post. There's like tons of stuff happening. And there's a lot of people that are already sending in um, these awesome videos and whatnot. But actually, I think that I might have a lane here. And I wanted to sort of give some awareness to something that I don't think that there's a lot of under or uh, a lot of knowledge on the matter. Okay. So everybody uses clippers and I feel like their space for clipping is getting more and more limited in terms of like what you can offer that's not already out. But what I was, um, so let me go to this distortion here. So what I was really happy with, um, I use a uh, little clipper from Boz Digital Labs all the time. It's really handy for just taming um, peaks and I use it. It's really lightweight on my system and the, um, uh, the workflow is super, super easy. Um, and then, so you've got Big Clipper, which is the older sibling. And so with Big Clipper, Little Clipper, there's a lot that's offered on Big Clipper that I just don't necessarily have a lot of um, use for. You know, in particular, they've got a um, an attack and release. And for a clipping, for a clipper, I'm kind of... I don't know that I need that because I need clipping. All right, so uh, Boz actually put out sequels to their clip um, uh, to their clip programs, and I wanted to discuss them. Okay, so what are you getting? Okay, so the first off is very inexpensive for what you're getting. These are pretty phenomenal. Okay, and. On top of that, you've got a, uh, a push and a pull the same way. Um, I liked the way that it worked in Little Clipper where um, you could kind of tell uh, in the middle, whereas this one, it's off to the side. And you've got like this little feature here that I think that they just wanted to be able to feature a little bit more of the range of the, um, uh, the DB range. Um, so... Let's go through this a second. And while we, um, I recorded myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and in the process, you're going to hear some of the processing that's going on um, with the clipper. I wanted to make something that was pretty dynamic so you could see how the, um, how the lead reads or how the, um, the level meter reads. This is a test. I want to make a really dynamic recording so that I can show you the capabilities of these clippers. I almost forgot what they were. All right, so what a goober. All right, so if you pull down the, um, so you're pulling down, so it's going to clip at, at this point, and then you can push into it. So as this is a test, I want to make a really dynamic recording so that I can show you the capabilities of these clippers. I'm All right. Sure. So essentially, um, let's let's listen to the previous one and see and observe the functionality. Which basically, I'm um, pulling down about twelve. I don't really see, you know. So that's I think a little bit helpful. So let's see. This is a test. I want to make a really dynamic recording so that I can show you the capabilities of these clippers. Okay, so it's pretty, um, I think that the usefulness, like the um, being able to um, use the, um, the GUI is, I think, more instructive. I have an idea of what uh, you know what we're doing here. It's a little bit, um, a little bit better. Um, so the sound of it is going to be a little bit different because we had um, these settings where um, the, um, uh, I guess, the way. I guess this is sort of like that attack and release uh, kind of thing. Whereas this is just, 
you know, there's, um, I mean, the visual is a soft knee versus a, a hard knee. Um, and it looks like for, um, for each part of the waveform, I think you can clip this so that it's got some, um, uh, asymmetry. Uh, so, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, is that you've got oversampling for clipping and, and since you're ad adding harmonics, obviously you're going to have that. Um, yeah. So they give you the AB, um, here, I think you have a, uh, wet, dry, uh, wet, dry knob, which is the same here. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's really handy and it's inexpensive right now. I think this one is like $19 or something like that, which is really handy. So, um, so yeah, so little clipper, really great. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the shape too much because you have to really just listen really intently. And I don't think that's going to be useful in the context of, you know, what we have, uh, for this, um, for the sound. Okay. So let's talk about the big clipper. So Big Clipper has gotten a lot of more um, features on it. Okay, so whereas let me let's go left to right. Okay, um, we have a push and pull, right? Uh, and then you have the output. I think I like this here better. Um, it's a little bit more intuitive. And then on top of the um, so they got rid of the frequency sensitivity, which I think was a good move. Um, here they have a top and bottom the same way on the little clipper, but then they have a heft and the, uh, frequency and the bias, and then they add some blend and a distortion. So this is pretty handy. Um, I haven't messed with it that much, but what I have done with it, it does, it does add a little pizzazz, which if you're using a big clipper versus a little clipper, then that you're kind of looking to zhuzh up your sound a little bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I make myself laugh. All right, enough. Um, the other thing is, is that um, you can use this as like the little clipper uh, because they have these functions. So you can buy the big clipper and then that's it. But I think little clipper also comes with big clipper. I think you get both licenses if you get the big clipper. So you can basically do that. And uh, what I didn't notice in the um, uh, in the previous um, GUI uh, or the logo for big clipper is that you see this? They They squashed the tops of the capital letters. And they did it here too. Bunch of savages. All right. Um, so, anyways, yeah, you have an output. Um, I just I think that for the bang for your buck for these, um, I think this one is like twenty nine, and I'm not in the habit of being pro um, software. I mean, I I love plugins. Obviously, I've got a ton, but. Um, I don't make a lot of like promotional channels because I don't, you know, I think that you can pretty much just kind of demo things and try them out, but I don't see a lot of traction or I don't see a lot of attention on the stuff that's coming from Boz Digital Labs in particular, something that's as useful and ubiquitous as clipping and clippers and having just sort of these different textures for the price point and what you get from it. I think that's really good. So, um, I would consider if you, you know, you know, if you need another clipper, then go for, you know, at, at least one of these, um, you know, well get the big clipper because you get, I think both of them, um, at least in the functionality, but, um, you know, if you're on a budget and you need a, clipping program then i would go for little clipper oops that's the wrong one i would go for the little clipper too i think it's just got you know i it's it's really handy and i've used the little clipper one it's done the job i can't wait to continue to use little clipper too um and Another thing that I am really thankful for, and I think the main reason why I wanted to make this video was to sort of be appreciative of the fact that Boz did not make 
the ver like they didn't stack the versions where you couldn't use the old little clipper so you could still use little clipper regular but you have little clipper 2 that's available to you now so um hey tip of the cap that was really awesome um i don't know if i should talk about the um uh what delay is it the pluralis delay um from united plugins this is a really interesting delay um i'll probably actually do its own video so never mind anyways um thanks for those of you that have subscribed since the last video i really appreciate it um if you have any questions or if you um have any suggestions that you think you want to see featured in a video please let me know all right take care